I want to take a look up here. Eyes up here. All right. So uh, to get started with the um, your photo collage, uh, the best way to get started is um, you want to um, find your background first. So the the background that I chose was uh, I I chose um, this roadway one. So you're going to choose a background, and then you're just going to click and drag this background into Photoshop. So it's the one that says PS, it's blue. So just click and drag it into Photoshop. And then you should have like the uh, picture for um, your background. Alright, so like from here on out, we're just going to be adding pictures um, on top of uh, the um, top of your background. And um, just to give you like a little introduction in um, Photoshop, uh, uh, some of these, the, the way it's designed is very similar to the Illustrator. You have like your layers over here, except um, unlike the, um, unlike Illustrator where um, everything that you add to the picture, it's, it usually hides um, within the, um, the layer one. Um, this time, every image that you add onto Photoshop is going to all be a separate layer. So we're going to add like um, a lot of, multiple different layers so um, it is a little bit overwhelming when you look at the layers in Photoshop as opposed to um, uh, Illustrator but they, they work in the same idea where um, on the, the, the layers that are lowered to you they um, they're, they're, they go on the very back of the picture and then every layer that you add to the picture is going to get closer to the, um, the front and then you look over here you have your tools uh, they, this this program also has a pen tool as well, but uh, we don't, we're not going to really use the pencil. We're going to use the um, brush tool uh, more, and then these um, other uh, tools to cut the picture. So then the um, next image that you want to add is uh, I want you to just add another image that you want to cut out in the picture. So yeah, just take a look up here though, because I'm gonna go kind of quick with the um, or go smoothly with the um, the picture. So like this is the picture of a person's head. And uh, when you add the image, uh, don't drag it to the Photoshop because if you drag it into Photoshop, it's going to put it in a separate window. Uh, you actually don't want it in a separate window. You want to actually put it on top of the image that you're working on. So it's going to um, go on top of your image. So if you look at your um, layers here, you have layer one is your background, and then the layer on top is the uh, picture of the image. So um, right here, uh, when you drag it on, this is a um, transform tool that's happening so you can actually click and drag resi resize the shape or resize the image so I'm just gonna make it about this big and if you hold the shift key um, just like in Illustrator it's going to um, uh, you know keep it the same ratio but after you're done with resizing you hit the check button up here and um, that will resize it all right, so the main thing that we have to um, do that we're going to learn is um, we're going to learn to cut the images out. And um, I'm, I'm actually going to show you guys the easiest way of um, doing it, but there are multiple ways of uh, cutting your, out your images in, the, um, in Photoshop. So we're going to be mainly using this tool here. This is the uh, quick selection tool. And if you don't have the quick selection tool, you may have to hold the mouse button and click on this. It's the fourth tool on the top right if you go to the bottom it looks like a brush with these dotted lines and then uh, just make sure um, to adjust your brush so you want to click on the one that's like a plus up here if you don't have the clicked on there and then you can also resize the brush here too but it's easier to resize your brushes with the uh, the bracket keys so uh, I'm gonna make a new layer here and just show you what the bracket keys look like so bracket keys look like this on your um, on your keyboard so it's basically these keys on your keyboard here look like that. They're above the um, or they're below the plus and the minus keys. These resize your brushes a lot easier. These are hot keys to resize your brushes. So you want to click on a quick selection tool, uh, resize your brush. You want to make sure it's big enough where it'll highlight the picture, but um, well, you know, not too, but not too big where you can't highlight the picture, but. If you click on the quick selection tool, this basically selects the image for you. So I'm just only selecting the uh, the picture of the head. All right, uh, it went a little bit too far, so if you hit the negative here, so plus is going to um, select it, uh, minus is going to deselect it. So I'm just going to deselect these parts here. It might help out to just click out certain parts. So I'm just deselecting the parts that I don't need. And depending on the image, though, some of them might be a little bit hard to um, 
you know, pick out the image. And other parts might cut out a little bit easier. But this is like a really easy tool to use to um, cut out the image. At least, you know, the cutting out in the, the beginning is a little bit easier. So I'm just selecting only the parts of the head. So like this is pretty good here. I selected most of the head. Some of this is not perfect, but um, uh, we can use the Photoshop to clean it up a little bit more. So after you've selected the, um, the part that you want to cut out, then you're going to click on this Refine Edge button. And then when you click on Refine Edge, uh, basically all those red areas, the areas that's going to be cut out, and then what's showing up is going to be what's going to stay the same. And if you want, you can, um, this tool is called Refine Edge. If you click and click on the edges a little bit, especially like around like pictures with the hair, this will help to clean up the um, cutting out a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Uh, you don't need to um, do it for all areas. Like I wish I didn't do it for that area there. But that's okay. We can clean up later. So you mainly want to do it for the hair. This part here is fine. You don't need to refine that. And then when you um, uh, so you can leave this all alone. Um, you know, this it's nothing really to change. Just just make sure the output to um. It should be a new layer with layer mask. And then you just click OK. And then basically this cuts out your image here uh, for you. All right, now if you, if you zoom in real closely, now some of the parts didn't cut out perfectly. Like right here, there's a little bit of that white. So if you click on this box here next to your picture, so if you look at your layers here, actually, um, this is the original image that you used here. You can delete this image. You don't need it no more. I made a copy of the image uh, on the top. This is the uh, layer with the um, uh, the picture of the the guy here. All right, so if you click on the eyeball, this is uh, yeah, it just shows you what's in that layer. And just make sure to click on the black and white box. This is called the um, the layer mask box. So um, with the layer mask, what that does is this allows you to erase the image. So if you look at your um, you want to click on the brush. And just change this to um, 100 opacity. Some of you may have it set on 30, but you know, just change it to 100 for this part. And then the black, what the black does, if you click on black, this is going to erase the uh, the picture for you. So I would just pick the fuzzy brush here. And this is like the fuzzy brush. This is a hard edge brush, and you know, just use this to clean up the edges a little bit more. But you shouldn't need to clean too much on the picture. If if um, the quick selection tool did it real well, then there's not really much you need to clean up. Uh, but you know, let's just say um, you completely mess up on the picture. Like you know, let's just say I accidentally erased the guy's head out like that. So if if you did that by accident, you can actually click on the white, and that'll bring back the picture. And if you even wanted to bring back some of that background, you can use that to bring back the background. But this is a very nice tool to use just in case you mess up with the erasing because um, uh, you know another way you can do it too is if you click on the image use the eraser you can use that to erase the background out as well but if you do it that way though it's you can't fix it though if you mess up so you really have to be really careful with that um, but another tool you can use too is if you go to windows um, click on the history panel you might want to leave this open the history panel this shows you all the um, different things that you did. So if you want to undo your mistakes, you can click on the top here and not undo your mistakes. But um, unlike the um, Illustrator, uh, Photoshop it only um, does does the um, undo only uh, I think 15 or 20 times. And I think like Illustrator does it like for like a lot more time. So you just want to be really careful with um, you know doing too many things at once or um, erasing the picture. Alright and then if for some reason if you're trying to use a layer mask to um, you know, erase the picture. Um, you know, it, you might end up clicking on this part here and make your picture um, black. So if your picture goes black like that, then uh, you, uh, just just be real careful with that. You know, don't, don't make it black. Go to history, undo. If you made it black, and just make sure to click on here if you um, you know if you want to erase the picture or if you want to erase that picture here. So if you want to do like really creative things, like one of the ideas that we looked at, um, you know, they erase like the top of the head here. Uh, maybe you might want to use a hard edge brush. So this is where you might want to change the brushes up a little bit. And you know, I'm just going to erase like maybe the top of the head here. So 
So, oh, let me erase a little bit more. If you hold the shift key, you can erase like a perfect line like this. And then maybe I might want to, um, you know, have these muffins here. So I'm going to click and drag the muffin onto the workspace, uh, resize it, make it smaller, uh, double click it, after I'm done. And uh, so I'm doing the same thing like I did before. Uh, and then the zoom in is Command Plus. So that, that's the same in um, Photoshop is Command Plus is the zoom in. And I'm just going to select just the muffin here. And again, most of these pictures that I picked out for you, they should cut out real nicely or real easily. So same thing we did before, refine edge. Um, this one I don't need to refine the edge, so I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to cut out my muffin. So I got my muffin here. You can move that layer around. So maybe I might want to have like muffins that come out of the uh, guy's head. So if you look right here, the muffins in front of the person here. Uh, but if you click and drag the layer down be behind the um, or below the person, you can put it behind them. So then it kind of creates like the illusion that it might be coming out of his uh, his head. So um, and then another thing you can do too is you want to rotate. It's gonna be uh, Command T as in turtle. You can kind of play around with uh, rotating the muffin, or like rotating the, uh, the image. And then if you want to duplicate the layers, alright, so duplicating is a little bit differently in this program. So um, typically we do like uh, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. Uh, to duplicate your layer, you have to go to um, uh, layer and then duplicate, and then click OK. And then you can duplicate the layer. And then the click command for the For the duplicate is uh, you can also right click on here too, and I'll um, that'll duplicate your layer. Try to see what the quick command is. That's the delete layer mask. Okay, so you can right click on here and duplicate. I have, for some reason I have to click up here to duplicate. So I'm just going to duplicate this layer a couple of times just to make it easy. Because I want to do like uh, multiple muffins that come out of his head. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, click on the layers. So if you take a look at my layers. Alright guys, take a look at the layers up here. So I, I did uh, multiple layers of the muffins here. These are the click and drag, you know, move it around. And uh, one other thing you can do too is because um, you know you may have a lot of layers, and you want to just may you may want to just move things, you know, just when you click on it. So if you click on this button that says, um, I think it's auto select, yeah, auto select. You can actually click on the certain parts, and that will just pick up the certain parts of the layers. So you don't have to like click on each layer to pick up the parts. Uh, you can click on this one that says auto select. And this will move like literally anything that you click on. So like these muffins. For some reason they're moving together here. Alright, so you know maybe I might want to put this muffin here. Uh, maybe I might want to command T as interior rotate this muffin there. Uh, you can see like right here I'm kind of just like playing around with the rotating of the muffin. So it looks like it's kind of just jumping out of his head here. This one's going down here. And then you can also resize it too with Command T as in turtle. Just click and drag the corner, you can make it bigger. So you can do like a, you can do a little bit of uh, overlapping. Again, if you want to move these muffins like in different areas, you just click and drag the layers. You can move it in front or behind. Yeah, you can just have fun with it though. Alright, this one I want to move on the behind those other ones. Alright, so you guys got any questions? Questions? Alright, let me.